Well, Gasheads, after a couple of weeks of completely no action in the transfer market, we have now signed two players in two days with the completion of James Gibbons from Port Vale. Um, this, to me, is a very, very exciting signing and sort of contrasting with Jordan Rossiter, this is not a massive name, but he's 24 years old. He has got over 100 games at Football League level Extremely highly rated by Port Vale fans. You know, you can already see from their reaction, they are gutted that he is leaving. Uh, he's a versatile defender. I think he primarily likes to play at right back. But I imagine he'll be a sort of similar character to James Clark, where you can move him across that back line and he'll do a job for you. You know, the characteristics listed by Port Vale fans is tenacious, hardworking, athletic, aggressive, which again... I mean, we've seen it last season, but we know the type of players that Barton likes to recruit and Gibbons seems to fit that bill perfectly. So, yeah, another very positive signing. I think it offers brilliant competition for Luca Hall. I think they're probably quite different players. But um, in terms of building a squad that looks to push up that League One table, I think this is an excellent signing. You know, Port Vale fans didn't want to let him go. He's obviously was a big part of their promotion push last season. And um, I think Daryl Clark would obviously have done everything he could to keep him there. But again, it shows ambition. You know, the fact that Gibbons wants to move to a newly promoted club as well. I'm sure he probably had offers from other League One clubs. And there was even talk of championship clubs being interested in him. So, you know, these players are obviously being sold sold a dream. You know, Whale and Barton have obviously told them, look, we're, we're not content with just settling in League One. We want to be pushing up the leagues. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a fantastic signing. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts on it. But I think it's always good to hear from the fans of the club that the players departed from. So I've spoken to Daniel from the Ale and the Vale podcast on how he thinks Gibbons is going to do for us, how upset he is for leaving. And, yeah, just to give us a little bit of an insight, I will leave their links in the, in the um, description below. So make sure you go and check them out. And yeah, here's what he had to say. Hi, Gas fans. Um, recording you this. You've just signed Gibbo from us. And um, recording with a heavy heart, I think it's fair to say, and giving back. But seriously, what can you expect from Gibbo? Um, versatile defender. He's played for us on the right wing back, right back, left wing back, and right of the centre, three centre halves. 100% committed player, he'll give you absolutely everything every game, loves a tackle, strong tackle, loves a tackle, put some good quality crosses into the box and he's a great asset for you, he really is, so look after him and, you know, we'll have him back any time, we're gutted he's gone. Um, the step up from League 2 to League 1, I think he'd be more than comfortable. There was reports in January and I don't know how true they are, but there's reports championship clubs were looking after him. Um, so... Yeah, you've definitely got a really good player for League One. I think I don't know who you've got it right back, but I'm sure he's going to walk into your side there and he'll be a real good asset for you. He's had a couple of injury setbacks over last season or two, but he's over them. You know, he had a bad, bad injury, but he's come back over it. He's the reason we went up. We moved him to right centre back against Swindon and he played right centre back at the playoff final at Wembley and was absolute quality. And yeah, I'm absolutely, as you can probably tell, lost for his gutted that we've lost him. But, you know, all the best to you for the season apart from when you play us and look after him for us and it's going to be strange seeing him in a blue and white shirt rather than a black and white shirt. But you've got a real quality, quality player. As I say, 100% committed, strong in the tackle, decent on the ball. Now and again can give the ball away, but it's a part of his game. He's worked on a lot and he's getting a lot better at it. But can put a quality ball on the box as well. And, you know, scored one or two decent goals for us as well, so we can get forward if you give him the opportunity to. So, all the best. So, there it is, Gasheads. That is a brilliant signing by the sounds of it. And I'm delighted that we've got him. You know, like I said at the start of the video, a couple of weeks of nothing. And now, two on the face of it seem like brilliant signings. So, um, yeah, once again, thank you to Daniel for coming on. Like I said, I'll leave their stuff in the description below. Go and check them out. And, um, yeah. Fingers crossed there's some more news in the future. I will see you later.